you doing there, buddy? Kind of a big day for you. Man's best friend can also flex some acting chops. Come again? You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 live action movie dogs. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch ahead. For this list, we're taking a look at those canine performances that tickled us, scared the crap out of us, or left us teary eyed. These barking hounds made their cinematic marks in very memorable ways, and that's without making a mess on the carpet. Get away from her! Get away from her, you commonplace barbarian! Number 10. Sam, I am legend. My name is Robert Neville. I'm a survivor living in New York City. Lost your whole family as they attempted to evacuate a city ravaged by a deadly virus? That's okay, at least your dog survived. In this Last Man Alive thriller, Sam is the beloved family dog who sticks by Will Smith's side and provides him with companionship and a reason to stay alive. Listen, uh, I want you to stay here on this one, okay? Because you can still get infected. And I can't. So look, if I'm not back by dark, um, just go. So, when she's bitten by a pack of infected dogs, we could swear someone was cutting onions in the theater because our eyes kept doing this weird watery thing. Samantha, look at me, girl. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. Samantha, just gotta get you home. Gotta get you, gotta take you home. Let me take you home. Number nine, Cujo. Come on, Cujo. Come on, boy. Come on, go with that dog. You know that dog. Don't worry about it, ma'am. Cujo won't hurt him. He likes kids. It seems like everything was deadly in the 80s, and dogs were clearly no exception. After being bitten by a rabid bat, this once lovable St. Bernard goes on a human killing rampage. Come on! Come on! I don't give a shit! Hear me! I don't give a shit! Sure, you can blame it on the rabies. After he kills a couple of those human folk and then holds a mother and son hostage in their broken down car. We actually find ourselves wondering what Cujo dislikes more, humans or Pintos. <laughs> Number 8. The Beast, also known as Hercules, the Sandlot. The Beast. When an animal lives in infamy among the neighborhood pubescents, you know there's gotta be a good story behind it. The legend of the beast goes back a long time. Although most of the kids envision the beast to be a man-eating canine assassin, the infamous dog turns out to be your everyday English mastiff who's just protecting his master's property. That doesn't make him any less intimidating, of course, but he's hardly a monster. Oh, shit! And given that the kids were trespassing, he was actually just doing his job. Darn kids. <sighs> Number 7. Benji. To your father, Benji's just a stray. Not many stray dogs are as adorable as this sweet little pooch. But still, no one's adopted Benji. Yet. This doggy with a heart of gold watches over the neighborhood kids and even uses his affable nature to help solve a kidnapping. You don't think he knows what he's doing, do you? No, but I'm not gonna give him a chance to prove me wrong. We don't know about you, but a cute mutt that can solve crime seems pretty deserving of a good home, or at the very least, a nice ham bone. Number six, Hooch, Turner and Hooch. You think you can handle him? You're nuts. Where are you going? He just responds poorly to anger, that's all. Speaking of crime-solving canines, this one is actually a murder witness. It seems odd to rely on a dog for something like this, because what's to stop someone from trying to make a case for other animals to be witnesses? I want to introduce you to my dog.
Nevertheless, this sloppy, slobbering mess actually starts to grow on Turner. You're not so rough. You're not so mean. And on us. <laughs> How can you not love a huge furball that just wants to be your pal, even if he's drooling all over your life? Plus, he can help you with the ladies. Got Turner, right? Yeah, I was looking for my dog. Have you seen him? Yeah, I noticed. You know anything about fuses? Electrical fuses? F yeah. Can you come in for two minutes? Just yeah. two minutes? A fuse box? Come in. Sure. Well, guess what? Now this is happening. Excuse me. Number five. Excuse me. What are you doing? Baxter, Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. That's how I roll. Baxter. He's tiny, he speaks Spanish, and he has a way with both the human and the animal kingdoms. And how many dogs do you know that can eat an entire wheel of cheese? You pooped in the refrigerator, and you ate a whole wheel of cheese? How'd you do that? It's actually, I'm not even mad. That's amazing. While he may leave the leather-bound books and jazz flute to Ron Burgundy, Baxter's got his own impressive talents that help him not only survive in the wild, but also save his human bros from a bear attack. <laughs> Number 4. Beethoven Daddy, can we call him Fred? This dog is a multitasker and a problem solver. Come to think of it, he'd be a perfect fit for a desk job. After sneaking into a suburban family's home, as cute puppies are known to do, Beethoven endears himself to them enough to earn a spot in their household. If only it were that easy to find housing in real life. A nefarious vet and a couple of hooligans aren't enough to keep this hound down. <laughs> Number 3. Toto, the Wizard of Oz. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> As Dorothy's companion through her adventures in a magical land, Toto was certainly in for a wild ride. The little dog was probably trying to figure out what the heck was going on most of the time. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. And while the poor guy didn't get any magical slippers or brand spanking new brains, at least he got to run around a yellow brick road and reveal the great Oz's true identity. Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? You ungrateful creatures think yourselves lucky that I'm giving you audience tomorrow instead of 20 years from now. Oh. Number two, Chance and Shadow, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. You know, Shadow's gonna have a ball at Kate's Ranch, aren't you, boy? It's gonna be sunshine and fresh air, lots of room to run. There are dogs that love their owners, and then there are dogs that'll literally risk life and limb to get back to them. No, no, we didn't invite these guys. Hey, get, get out of here, get out of here, buzz off, you party crashers. Go steal some porridge. <laughs> <laughs> these two are of the latter category and have such an enduring attachment to their humans that being separated from them for any period of time is enough to prompt their incredible journey back home. I don't care about gates. I'm going home. Thanks to the voiceover talents of Don Amici and Michael J. Fox, Shadow and Chance really come to life, and you can't help but root for their success. <laughs> oh, <Chance. laughs> Chance. You scoundrel! Look at this guy! <laughs> Before we give our top pick his treat, here are a few honorable mentions. That's it? Yeah. Okay, get the key. <sighs> no, not, not the cheese, the keys. I say, look, do you want to ride back to shore or not? I mean, don't you know I came at her to save you? No, Otis said. I didn't know that. Well, now you know. Get on. Sit. 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 Sit.
sit. Marley. Okay. Marley. Marley, sit. Hey, hey, Kachi. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing here? What's the matter, Lassie? Don't you want me to go? I'll be out at four as usual. Bide well, Lassie. Number one, Old Yeller. A rough and ready feller, although his coat was yeller, his bold Texas heart was true blue. This reliable, trustworthy, and loyal family pet was the perfect complement to the hard-worn lifestyle and country routine of the Coates family. Listen, I'm gonna keep you so dang busted busy, you won't have time to go off prowling. You can't really ask for more than a dog that'll chase off a mama bear who's trying to defend her cubs. So when a rabid wolf bites Old Yeller during a struggle to protect the humans he loves, what unfolds is one of the most memorable and saddest scenes in movie history. No, mama. There's no hope for him now, Travis. He's suffering. You know we've got to do it. I know, Mama. He was my dog. I'll do it. Again, with those darn onions. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite live action movie dog? What is it? What? What? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You remember the movie Old Yeller, do you? Remember when they shot him at the end? I didn't cry. Uh.